Hello, it's Chris. I'm in Golden Ears Park going to meet a young man who lost his Clydish uh, Irish wedding band, gold wedding band. We're going to hear the story. He's not 100% sure where he lost it, but he assumes it's in the water. So I'm going to come give him closure, hopefully find this for him. Thank you for watching. Here we go. Guys, we're here, check this out. It is so beautiful. And I'm here with Caleb who lost a wedding band after how many months, Caleb? Uh, about five, four or five. And you're in a dog house? Yeah. And you need to get back in that house. Yeah. Okay. So let's find this for you. Whereabouts, can you show me what, where you were in the water? So we, we remember specifically we had kids here playing. Okay. And to, they were jumping off that wood pile there. Okay. So we avoided them. Yeah. Probably roughly here, right? Yeah, somewhere around this area. Okay. And um, we weren't very adventurous. We didn't go far that way. That way. So if I, if I, if you were to draw me a line, where would you say? Like, if this rock was a corner post, two corners, where would you put me in? Probably, probably here on the rock, roughly. Okay, let's just make a corner post here. And what I'll do is I'll grid search this area then I will expand that area further and further. And um, let me see something here. Let's see how cold this is. Oh shit, I'm not going in there. Um, just joking. <laughs> Can you imagine come all the way out here? I'm not going in here. This is nice actually. I've, I've been in this much colder. Um, tell me how far out, Kayla. said it was like knee deep. Now it's going up to here. Well, waist. I would say waist. Okay. Enough that I could like sit into the water. Okay. Okay. And that's what you were doing. Okay. I I got a feeling. I thought it was knee deep. I, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to prepare for this. Okay. Um, so there's that mark and that mark. You guys take a seat, relax. I'm gonna set up my tripod. And hopefully we'll have a ring for you. Now, the only thing that makes sense to me is when you're floating back yeah. and sitting back because that's when you got your hands in the water. Yeah. The walk out, the walk in doesn't really reflect the ring coming off. Was it fitting you a bit loose? Yeah. It was. Eh? Okay, that, that will definitely do it. And what else were you doing here? Oh, uh, here? Nothing. Just walking. We would... Uh over here. Yeah. That was how we came down. There's another path Okay. There. Now, is there a chance it could have came down off, up, coming down that hill? Did you not see you took a fall? Yeah. We checked that area. Um, Maybe. That was area number two we would check, but uh, yeah. It's, my ring has never fallen off, like of its own. Right. Will, like but, of its own. Like, sure. But you see, yeah. something like that is a motion that could when you when you fall you're you're instantly your hand comes up or it goes down and that i wonder if we should start there first i can show you yeah. is it far no no it's like, like just up a little yeah. bit right like you, a, you know what i just wonder let's let's go easy okay. and, and then go wet Okay, so you're there. Right, so this is my friend, and I'm, I'm taking the picture from in the water. Yeah. Um, and you can kind of see these two rocks back here. Yeah. But you can't see this big rock here. No, you can't. That's out of frame, so it's telling me I'm at an angle, kind of looking this way. I could be like standing here. You could be the standing region. there, okay. Also maybe like here, so maybe the grid began a little bit. Yeah, it could have been a bit wider, eh? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> he got me. He got me and you've watched my videos. No. How does that feel, brother? No way. 
I looked at you recording as well. Oh, that's amazing. I'm out of the doghouse. You're out of the doghouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found it over there, so way out of the box. I think I saw you find it, yeah. Yeah. Hey, it was deep too, huh? It was deep. I'm sorry, man. You're this long. He you're this long. So one all of us. <laughs> I told him as well. He's gonna he's gonna come back get the camera. Was it he's worth taking me out? Was it worth taking a half a day off? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a beautiful ring. I'm gonna get a look at that because I haven't even sure. looked at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, I'm so they're, happy um, for you. They're actually original to the town that I'm from in Ireland. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they're called clatter rings. Yeah, I know the clatters. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm used to seeing the clatters with the cutout part. Mm, yeah, you yeah. know, and, and the crown. Um, so, this is really beautiful. So my wife has the cutout one with like a sapphire in the middle of it. Oh as wow! The yeah. Wow. I am so honored to find that for you after four months. <laughs> yeah, Tell me, what does it mean to you to get it back? Ah, oh, it's the world. Yeah, like. I very much, I already planned before to get like a dummy ring, like a shit ring that I could have and like lose. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but then I was like, I just, I really want to wear this one and keep this one as well at the same time. And I was torn. I, I want this to last, this one ring, because I bought it, my mom like picked it up, brought it to the Philippines for me. And like we had our wedding in the Philippines with these two little Irish rings. And wow. Yeah, it's pretty special. Wow, it is. It, it, your wife's Irish. No, she's from the Philippines. She's from the Philippines. Okay, yeah. so you, you got her an Irish clattish ring as yeah. well. Beautiful. I, I am so, so honored to find this for you. And it didn't take that long. No, it wasn't bad. It was, wasn't bad. Um, water was pretty warm. I'm really, I'm really honored again to, to be able to continue this story. How did you hear about the ring finders? This guy. He found it. <laughs> How did you hear about the ring finders? Oh, you know, one of those uh, Google searches while you're on the toilet, desperate to find your... You know, your friend's ring, you know? That is fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I, yeah. I love it. I love that Google works and you're able to find it was me. Th it was through Reddit. Through Reddit. Oh, Reddit. Like, I, I found there, like, how do you find the ring? And then I said, oh, there's an association of people, the ring finders. They Beautiful. do, you know, work for, for others. So Beautiful. Yeah. Please, if you, both of you, if you're on social media, please share with your, your, oh, yeah. your platforms because the more people that know we're out there, the more people get a second chance and, um, Way to go, man. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, that was a fun search. Um, a beautiful location. Was able to find this beautiful cladish ring. And um, it was in just above waist deep water. These searches could be very difficult. As you can see, find a ring in a lake. Uh, it's like finding a needle in a haystack sometimes, especially if you don't know your ring came off in the lake. But uh, to me and uh, to, to all of us, it made sense because wet hands equals a lot of times a lost ring. So I got lucky. I found it. And it's back where it belongs. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one.